Uh, now let's start with handwriting practice. Writing of each alphabet has a definite methodology. Now these are going to be briefly described the shapes which are used in the handwriting. We'll be briefly describing it. So first let's start with what is known as the slant line. Slant line is nothing but a straight line. Just observe how, observe how it is being drawn on the paper. You can see, you can start from the bottom, go upwards. That is the slant line. Now the next one which we'll be dealing is nick. Nick is nothing but the bent portion in a letter. For example, yes, the curve which you are observing, she is highlighting it. This is what is known as nick. Now nick is very oftenly used in such letters as A, E, so and so forth. Now the next one is a curve. Curve is nothing but an arc. When it comes down, it is known as the downward curve. See, you can see how it is being drawn. That is the downward curve, which is often used here in C. Can you see? Yes. That's the neck and that's the downward curve. Now let's combine all three. Slant, neck and the downward curve. This is how you're supposed to write an alphabet. Now we have what, what is also known as an upward curve which will be using it later when we write O and so and so forth. The next one we are going to use is what is known as an ascender. When a line goes up like in L, can you see that is known as the ascender. This is the ascender part of the alphabet. So please remember when a line goes up, as in L or in T, it is known as an ascender. When the line goes down, it is known as the descender. For example, in G. See, you can see she is drawing C. Yes, now you can see the down part which is being highlighted is known as the descender. There are some words which use both ascender and the center. This is for better clarity. You can see the down part which is going is known as the descender. Now when you write F, you are using both ascender and descender. Can you see that? When you go up, it is known as the ascender. When you go down, it is known as the descender. Now the next one is known as the crossbar. Crossbar is the line which is drawn horizontally to cross a letter no, such as T. So that is the horizontal line which is drawn on T is known as the crossbar. Keeping these parts of the alphabet in mind, now we will start with the handwriting training process.